his humility. I have had the opportunity to meet him, you know, as a peace advocate. His love is a man with a clout, okay, in charge of the Muslim community in Ghana. His humility, his and 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 how he will em embrace you. And I'm not talking about personal things. And his sense of commitment to this nation. There is a passage that he's, he's always fond of. I'm not going to attempt to quote the Quran. <laughs> but he believes that God's children are the same everywhere. And there's no reason why we should allow religion to divide us. We should be together, live and let others live. And that to me is a very, very important virtue that should also be supported and promoted to inspire younger people and even older people who are coming, who are about to go and those who are coming, so that this nation will grow from strength to strength. If you don't know the value that we, we those of us in Ghana, have, people who are living in countries where there's too much tension, religious tensions, they come to this country and they are amazed how in spite of our different you know, our religious differentiations, we are able to live in peace, live and let others live. It, is, it has come about because we have leaders who are promoting this, and he is one of them. So we have like four weeks to go, 29th of this month, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the old man on stage. What are you expecting? Himself and then two other... Mistakes. Let me tell you that, come and see <laughs> other virtues in him what he can do to promote the peace of this land. And remember the people who are going to be with him. The Archbishop of Abaco, Apostle uh, Professor Unina, and some of us at the background. We also have something in us to offer. <laughs>